Alright guys, our new setup here, we got rid of the round table. And the reason we did the setup here is we'll, I wanted to set up a, a little studio for us to do a podcast in. And we're coming out with a new channel. It's going to be called The Exchange. And I'll let you know why we picked The Exchange. We're going to be talking, interviewing other entrepreneurs we're gonna be doing a q and a we're gonna be doing this daily It'll probably be anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes but yeah this whole setup is gonna be uh, us talking about definitely business uh, some entertainment current events whatever q and a you guys have please send it in and I'll uh, do the best to answer it what are questions you guys have so I think we're gonna give you a little taste oh you got questions yeah you got questions let's go so the first question today from Dustin Without using ads, what's the most efficient way you get your leads? Without using ads, uh, so I'm just gonna go to my to TFS, my the, the mortgage company. Uh, without ads, what I do is I just I, I phone the mortgage brokers that send me deals, contact them, contact my own clients, contact my referral sources. Uh, another way is just content right here, you know, podcast adding value back and forth. Uh, you know, starting communities on LinkedIn and on, on Facebook, adding value there and getting into communication. Just, mm. you know what? Everything works. The only thing that doesn't work is doing nothing. Um, Christina. Yep. What are your hobbies as an entrepreneur? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Christina, I, uh, I actually, the last two or three weekends, I've been trying to figure this out. I, I don't have a hobby. You got a hobby. No, I don't, man. Oh, cast iron? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a hobby. That's a hobby. Yeah, I guess so. It's a passionate hobby. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't say call it a hobby. I think a hobby is like going golfing and, and doing all this. And mm. I like cast iron skillets. I like going and buying it, and not not brand new. I like you know going out and getting something that's been used for the last 20 30 40 years and has like you know a bunch of like food stuck to it and and gunk and everything and and going home and, and cleaning that out and you know putting the lie tank or an e-tank and yeah these are See? <laughs> terminologies the that, out. that uh cast ironers know yeah cleaning it out re-seasoning it and, and making it look good you know what you should take that, that the photo that it had before and after yeah, and yeah. you know Send it to then, then they know what that uh, what it means yeah. you know what you know what that comes from is being a mechanic back in the day right where a car comes in it's not starting it's broken and then by the time it leaves it's it's repaired it's and it's working right so <clears throat> I'm a hands-on guy and you know sometimes I miss that and I think that's why I, I, I do that with cast iron so it's almost just like to get the hands moving to be working on something with hands and to complete something and, and it feels like yeah it's it's like you're seeing something from the beginning to the end right and it's like holy shit I, I can't I accomplish that yeah. and, it's, and it's fast for me so mm -hmm. I just yeah. like that what do you uh, this is from Tom what are you obsessed with as an entrepreneur the game the whole game from from beginning to end from Starting something new, researching it, advertising towards it, getting sales, closing the deals, getting funded, growing it, everything about it. Again, going back to uh, the cast iron story, I see something growing. I see something from the beginning right to the end. Well, not even to that. I don't even know when the end is because it never, it's n never gonna be there for me. But it's like I, I can look back two years from now, like holy shit, that's where we were, and look where we are today. Mm. Right? It's just a sense of accomplishment. And I like the hustle and the drive. I don't like being told what to do. I just like, you know, taking control and, and making it happen. If I was to work in a government job, holy fuck, man. Oh, it would be the miserable, the most miserable person ever. Or even in any company. I can't even go work on a friend's company. I'm just not wired that way. I've done it a couple of times and like, fuck, I hated it, man. Mm. Hated my life. I just can't go we'll spend eight, nine, ten hours a day and just doing whatever. Others. Just like you, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. <laughs> on that note. On that note. I think you like what you do. Yeah, I like what I do. Yeah, that's that's good for me on questions. Uh, you can you can close her out. So so this is what we're talking about here. I'm, I'm glad Dylan actually had uh, had questions from here uh, for me. Yeah. You gotta put your DJ thing on, man, with with your. Uh, I, mean, I look too cool the, like that. That was I, good. I don't want people to get carried away that was, here. That was that was good. That was good. <laughs> All right, guys. Until uh, until next time. Live it up. Uh, I don't like that one. We're not, this is no longer live it up. This well, is for be, solo. Yeah, this is going on 360. <clears throat> yeah, but I, I want something else, man. I'll just say, I don't know. All right. Exchange you later. <laughs> that sounds stupid. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. Yeah.